But if you can't get your sleep together, you can't get your life together. Uh, my name is Michael, 26 years old, almost 27. And uh, for about six months, I was a shift lead at Walgreens up until very recently. Gotcha. Why did you come 2,500 miles to come see me? Um, I have a tremendous amount of minor to moderate issues, but the biggest one being for sure is my complete lack of just like sleeping irregularities. Sleep. Yeah, yeah. He's Terrible. here. Anybody can come from all over the world. People come from all over the world and, they, and anybody can come for pain. But this guy doesn't even mention pain as the first thing. He has pain, but he comes for sleep. He's been seeing a chiropractor off and on for four or seven years, something like this, I forget. Yes. In Florida, yes. and uh, as he says, he helps him with his pain a little bit, but hasn't solved his problems and hasn't done one thing to help his sleep. Lots of neck pain. Yes, in neck pain. Areas. Gotcha. No headaches. Sides, the top. Tell us about the chest pain, too. Yeah, I get this terrible tightness in my clavicles up here. It, gotcha. It's unbearable. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Tell us about your low back pain. Yeah, I get left sciatica pain. It flares up when I start walking for like a long time, like two weeks, and then it'll stay on forever, but. Yeah, and so he quit his job. Tell us about quitting your job. Why'd you do that, sir? Because uh, uh, my sciatic pain was uh, so unbearable that I had to leave. Yeah. My leg at, was on at fire. At 26. And uh, tell us about when you lay down. When you lay down on your back, what, what does your neck feel like? Uh, yeah, when I completely relax my neck into the pillow, I get this bad pain in my upper neck. It goes away after about 10 to 20 minutes, but at first it's unbearable. And also, um, when I completely relax my torso when I lay down, that left SI joint like pinches really hard. Goes away after about 20 minutes, but at first it pinches so hard I cannot get comfortable. Yeah. yeah. And so, uh, tell us how sleep is invading your life. What is it doing to screw your life up, sir? Well, everything. It makes everything so much more difficult. It's like I want to get my life together, but if you can't get your sleep together, you can't get your life together. What did you? What's missing in your life because of lack of sleep? Because people. Uh, you know, are going to sympathize with you. They want. They want to know what is the, what symptoms are driving you nuts. I um, have terrible anxiety and depression. Like I'll have a depression episode once every few days. Every few days, guys. Yeah. And he's 26. Uh, relationships. You have to try to have a relationship, and uh, does your anxiety yeah. kind of get in the way of that too? Um, no. Yeah. Well, I'm kind of curious. Yeah. Back then, yeah. Um, you don't have to go detail, but I mean. How does your how does the lack of sleep and anxiety uh, mess with just human, yeah, human interaction? Yeah, I just couldn't um I just couldn't keep it together. It's like I would always get complaints like why are you doing it like that? Like why are you like this? And I'm like I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> but at the time I look back at it, I'm like yeah that is weird. But it's like I have no idea why I'm just like falling apart like that. Why I just can't be straightforward, decisive. It's like I'm just like I'm, I'm like losing it something. Oh, I got one more funny little thing. I did yeah. show my chiropractor video about can you like adjust my neck like he does and he said that he does the same thing that's well not, we'll see right yeah <laughs> we'll see he's been going to this guy for four years and now he's going to his brother for a couple more years yeah. right and uh we will see because the proof is in the pudding guys and uh i respect other chiropractors that at least try and yeah, that, he's a good guy at yeah. least i respect that he tries and he's taking x-rays yes so he's done the minimum so i can't fault this chiropractor i mean not everybody's as talented as i am so i get that but at least he's tried, okay? Yeah. And so we're gonna see what the difference is. And you know, again, if I was him, I'd talk cocky too. And so uh, I'm talking cocky for about me, so I get it. But you're gonna see a difference. He's gonna see a difference and you're gonna, he's gonna be able to relate to you like, oh yeah, it's nothing like it. We're gonna find out in a few minutes. Absolutely. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna go through range of motion, just some basic ones. Go ahead and bend over, touch your toes as best you can. How much pain in your back or tension? We talked about tension on a scale of one to 10. Yeah, like a one. A one, back like this. How about that? Yeah, one or two. One or two. Neck of the floor, please. How about that? None. None. And ceiling, please. Uh, none. None. Okay. Now, what about tension? There's no tension there either. You're saying? No. Okay. And so, uh, I swear there's something else we talked about there. Well, I did say like a one earlier. No, no, there's one. There's one earlier. Yeah. So I'm, I'm mixing another patient up. So uh, then we're gonna do a squat. So squat to the ground without touching the doors. Don't touch your legs. Just squat. Okay. Any tension in your knees or back there at all? No. Gotcha. So again, he's a high level functioning person right now. He's able to fool himself and fool all of us with this range of motion and motion because he's young. He works out all the time. Tell us all the things you've done to take care of yourself, by the way. Well, I did Taekwondo for 11 years. I was extremely active. No, what do you do for the sleep? The lack, you have these- Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, basically I looked up on YouTube or I mean on Google, everything that there is to do to improve your sleep, like cold showers, getting enough sunlight exposure, Eating melatonin, healthy. Melatonin, eating healthy, right? Yeah, I, I would take up to 30 milligrams of melatonin with no effect Nothing, at all. Right? Gotcha. Yeah, and it did 
almost nothing to yeah. improve my sleep. So he's a high functioning pain guy because he's been in pain for so long. So all those motions, interesting, but we're gonna fix his sleep. And the only way to fix sleep is actually fix discomfort that's in deep inside him that he's not even admitting, which I don't care. I just wanna show you guys and tell you why he's not like complaining about a lot of pain. Okay, anything else you wanna add? No, sir. Good. On your back, sir. You can't tell, but his spine is messed up. Let's take a look. He has a 36 millimeter imbalance. That's huge, 25 degree scoliosis. On this one, he has 27 degree scoliosis and significant constipation. Here we have a bone spur off the back of his head and we have one third atlas square. Here we have confirmation of that constipation and antalgic position. And I don't know if you can feel the tension in his body right now. If you just look at him through the camera, he's nervous, very nervous. Yeah. Okay, and so are you nervous about the adjustment or just kind of nervous overall kind of? No, the adjustment, yeah. Because it's like I said, because like I've seen it so, done so many times that, you know. How many videos you watched of mine? Oh, several hundred. Yeah, several hundred. Yeah. And he's been watching for three years, guys. Three years. And so uh, I'm stoked to work on him. And like I said, this is what my life, my profession is all about, is helping somebody young like this get him back on track because he has a whole lifetime to live. And so uh, if we can get him back on track now, it's going to change entire life. Looking forward to it. Yeah, good. <laughs> so just relax. We're not going to rush anything here, okay? I'll talk you through this. Any pain right here? I like a one. Like a one, gotcha. And I'm pushing on the suboccipitals and I can get in here and grind some more, but he has a high pain tolerance because I can feel all the spasm in here. Good. Just relax here. The most amazing part to me is that uh, he would not be here if it was just for pain. He's here for sleep. So, just relax the best you can. Just think heavy on the table, nice and heavy. We'll take our time here, just get you in position. Good. Is that exactly like the other chiropractor? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Not even close, right? No. Yeah, uh, his, um, it's just a quick little snap and uh, feels pretty shallow. Yours was, uh, you know, like like everyone else in the size of video, very deep. Very deep, right? Yeah. yeah. And that wasn't even hard as I can do, guys. All I'm doing is I'm just going, I'm going concerted, focused neck adjustment that's, that I, it's on purpose, meaning I have a purpose for doing it. It's not just to crack bones. It's to put the spine back into a different position. Yeah, that was a lot too. Yeah. Like I, I heard like so many pops in succession, like five or some shit. <laughs> some shit. It, it, so yeah, it was a lot. <laughs> yeah, you can feel this. There's some force behind these adjustments. It's a concerted effort to make permanent change to the spine, guys. A little, little pop here and there is not going to make change to the structure of the spine. It may make it feel good temporarily, but not change. Good. Feel that? Yes. Right down to the core, huh? That one actually stopped me. I could feel that. I only went maybe a quarter of the way. Yeah, you didn't go as far as the other one. I couldn't go any further. It wasn't that I didn't try. <laughs> it just stopped. That's how much. That's how much resistance in his body. Um, I don't think it was him personally. I think there's some deep-seated scar tissue in there, and that's that's okay. That's why he's here. Okay. You guys know the drill. We're helping Michael up here so that he doesn't twist or turn. Why? because when he twists or turns, he undoes my work. Now we're gonna check out how he feels after his first adjustment. Yeah, I think I'm a lightheaded a little bit, yeah. Yeah, just like we say in the videos, right? If I change your balance in your body to make it better, that is odd to you. Yeah, yeah, my neck, my head, yeah, it all feels like a, like woo, -woo right yeah. now, yeah. And that's because I've actually moved it to a different position. So your brain is perceiving balance in a different way. Doesn't mean it's bad, it means it's good. Making changes, okay? <laughs> So when you get up, we always talk about recalibration, right? When you yes. walk in the hall. So we recalibrate meaning that woozy feeling he feels right now is gonna make the rest of the body change. Because it needs to adapt to this new woozy feeling. And the woozy feeling is actually better than it was before, he just hasn't realized that yet. Okay, that's why the walking is so important. So all these chiropractors don't do that. Walking is an integral part of change, okay? So when you walk, arms down, look straight ahead. Yes, sir. So as I said, we're recalibrating the spine. He's a little dizzy, so I sent him twice down the hall. Let's see how he's doing. You're smiling here a little bit. What are you smiling for? Uh, I don't know. Just I definitely feel lighter. I feel like stuff coming up, you know? 
Like what's coming up? You mean like emotion coming yeah, up? Yeah, emotion. Yeah, it, it it does feel like it's like all this time you know. Now I I do feel like lighter for sure. I feel like I'm standing a lot easier, which you know kind of just brings out a laugh, a little one. Yeah, and <laughs> can can you? Uh, I have an idea why you're saying that, but I'm kind of curious what somebody on your end would say. Why are you saying it brings out a laugh? Why are you saying it brings up this emotion? Because you've been adjusted a million times, so yeah. I'm kind of curious why this particular moment brings that out. I, I don't know. When you, when you feel a lot lighter, you know, you know, you just feel better. So, have you ever had this feeling before, you're saying? Is this a different foreign feeling that you've never had after a chiropractic adjustment? Or is this something that you regularly feel? No, I've never felt this way after an adjustment, for sure. Yeah, and that's what I was trying to get at, guys, is that he's having some kind of emotional thing because he goes, well, shit, everybody says this online, and now I actually get the, it's the sensation. I get to feel what everybody's been feeling, right? So that's the first step, what? the rest of your life oh yeah <laughs> I mean it really oh, is I mean yeah. it all sounds corny but it really is it's the same shit over and over oh, yeah. I do it I've been, all the time I've been like fixated on like just like getting better improving in general for such a long freaking time because I know that there's like something wrong with me not to have like a bad attitude but something's not right because my sleep and whatnot so you know it's it's just no um, I don't know where I'm going with that, but... <laughs> well, I think what he's going with that is that he's had this uh, plan to get better for all this so long. Yeah, yeah. And there's, that's, been, a, yeah. there's been an obstacle to stop him, and yeah. now he feels the first step to taking that next step in his life. Oh, yeah. He's been... He's been some, you know, somebody's been standing on him for so long, and I just took that pebble, I took that rock off his back, and now there's air. Oh, yeah. It does. Yeah, there's also, like, less tension than not that I talk about right back. Yeah, it's a lot less. And how about the chest? Well, that only um, gets activated when I do certain motions. Yeah, okay. But right now, right. I, I can't tell right now. Yeah, gotcha. So let's uh, just go through the range of motions real quick. He didn't have any pay with these. We'll just go real quick because he wants to show off. Go ahead and bend <laughs> up, touch toes, please. Okay. You tell us any difference. Go ahead and go up. Stand yeah, up. It does. definitely feels easier. It feels easier, right? Oh, yeah. On that one? Yeah. Yeah, the other You had no pain, there. but... Well, yeah, there was a little exactly. bit of tension, but exactly. it's, exactly. it's gone now. He feels different. Now look at the floor, yeah. please. How about that? Now it's easier too, right? Yeah, nothing. Ceiling. And the last one, squat to the ground too, please. How does that feel different? I'm kind of curious. It definitely felt smoother. Smoother, right? Yeah, it definitely felt Power, easier, easier quicker, oh, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Yeah, right? it definitely felt like, it was like more put together, you know? Like the, like the, the squat, I felt like everything's like shaking you know, just a little bit yeah, all over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now it's it's not overly not important to you that. guys, but for me as a chiropractor, it's called the closed kinematic chain. The reason why I do all these things is to show you and give you value and give him value of how things are changing. And so he feels that's all really important, but I'm just trying to give you guys the same kind of feel on the um, camera. Anything else you want to share, sir? Uh, no, sir. Good. Nice for a start. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Good. Perfect. Take it away. Later.